Make your lives exciting in a different way. Create a different destiny experience reality. The same old boring, I'm going to use drugs again, is like a threat. The same old, something interesting about the family using. It's sad, the family can't use while you're using. That's a tough one. It's about then, I would say, changing your average. What do I mean by that? They say you're the average of the five, six people, whoever it is, that you hang out with. Now it's interesting with youngsters, show me who they hang out with and you can see who, where they're going to end up in life. In this day and age, it's possible to change your average more so than possibly 20 years ago. Who you hang out with. How do you change who you hang out with? In this day and age, I tell these youngsters, and sad sometimes we do these talks in areas you'd think the mums in alcoholic, fathers in jail, neighbors are drug dealers. You know, lives are bad. How do you tell that kid change his average? What do I tell them to do? The first thing I tell them is read. Why do I tell them to read? Because I say if you, every single South African library worth its salt must have at least more than one copy of Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom, right? Read the guy's book. You are having a conversation with Mandela. Right? Read Steve Biko. You are having a conversation with him. Read Elon Musk. Read Richard Branson. Read the controversial guys. But don't necessarily become them, but read to make your world wire your brain in different ways. You are changing your average. You are changing the five or people, six people you hang out with. You are forcing this brain to go places it's never gone before. It's exposing it to worlds that you didn't even know existed. Does that resonate? That's how you change. It's tough you, and you will find yourself gravitating away from those that were your average. From those who hold you back and create a whole new world. So the idea is, as I said, control the mind like a lion grabs a goat by its neck. Hold on to it. Never let that mind go. Refuse to detach, forgive, let go of that usual or boring pathway. Open up to an infinite spectrum. Your mind is a conduit. The mind is not an end. Does that make sense? It's a means to an end. Figure out your own end.